The Building Bridges Initiative Task Force that's traversing the country collating views from members of the public on how to realize a cohesive nation was in Baringo on Tuesday. And here it emerged that devolution was the country's development pillar and any attempt to scuttle the governance system is not welcome. By introducing devolution in our constitution, we gave rise to the most progressive governance uh, in, uh, paradigm shift for the Kenyans. It enabled the direct channeling of resources closer to the people. Baringo Deputy Governor Jacob Chepkoni told the task force that there ought to be established a legal system that will ensure equitable sharing of resources. We still have a long way in initiating necessary amendments and developing legislations that will enable the country to rip fully from the supreme law. In Nairobi, the Kenya Young Parliamentarians Association says youth in the country who form the bigger chunk of the populace have over the years suffered marginalization under successive administration and it was time to turn around the status by making them an integral part of government. The young person must feel that Kenya is theirs, that they have a stake in this country, that they are on the negotiating table. Because as I always say, if you're not on the negotiating table, you're on the menu. Young people have been on the menu for far too long. That is the first point. Led by Chairman Johnson Sakaja, the association wanted the Building Bridges Committee to keenly focus on the youth with an aim of recommending a legal framework that will entrench a reasonable percentage of mandatory vacancies for the youth in all government ministries and agencies. Throughout this discussion around building bridges, inclusion of young people is part of the problems we've had. The reason why it is very easy to get a young person in Bomet or in Kiharu or where to go to the streets or in Nairobi is because they feel disenfranchised and disengaged. Because successively we've been telling them when vijana nafasiyonu itakuja siku moja. There is no cohesion you will build this country without young people. None at all. The Building Bridges Task Force has got until June this year to wind up its work and present its findings and recommendations to Handshake Architects President Uhuru Kenyatta and Opposition Leader Raila Odinga.